of watching John Eckhart and his Word of Knowledge Challenge. I'm trying to stare myself up. So step more out than that. You know, I operate in it for healing, but I believe in God for more. You know, sometimes I get names and faces, uh, locations. I just want to be more consistent in it. Dash on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some black pepper. All right. The next thing we saute is the spinach. Got the spinach in the omelet. Anyway, team. I'm in here working, waiting on things to get ready. I want my omelet. We eat omelets for dinner. We are having omelets for dinner. I wish I could sit y'all somewhere. Let me see. Can I sit y'all somewhere? Y'all see me? Let me turn the light on, team. That's going to work. I probably should turn the light on this way. All right, there you go. I find it amazing that people will pay you for your gift. Now, I've been doing photography since, uh, I would say probably about 11 years. No, about, yeah, about 11 years. And it still amazes me that people will pay me to take pictures of them, team. People will pay me. Ain't that awesome? that I have traveled and still travel for photography. And I ain't the best photographer. I ain't the best photographer in the world, but I've been to places where people have, there's lots of photographers, lots of good photographers, and people want me to come and take their pictures, and people come to me. Now, I'm doing photography, now I'm with photography. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I've had a lot of bad experiences too. You know what I'm saying? I have been to court and won the court case. I won the court case. I've been to court one time and as the defendant and the plaintiff, my witness was the plaintiff's twin sister. 
And I got the twin up there and I questioned her and I'm like, because let me, let me tell you, let me tell you what the scenario was real quick. All right, there was a surprise, but there was a, a birthday party. And I was, I was called to shoot the party. Not like a, <laughs> not, not, not nothing like that. These are all adults. I think it was for a 60 something year old woman, I think, um, a couple of years back. Anyway. I, sh I went to shoot the party. I shot it. As a matter of fact, with my pastor and first lady and another another lady from the church. The four of us rolled together about three hours away. Charleston, South Carolina. All, everybody heard of Charleston. I don't care where you live at. Even with the church, with the shooting in Charleston. But anyway, we went there and, and I shot it. And while I was there shooting it, another young lady, a, a Caucasian lady comes in. And she has a Nikon camera too. So I'm standing there looking like, what's going on here? And the twin comes over, the twin that I used as my star witness comes over and said, oh, she, su oh, she surprised my sister. I ain't asked her nothing. She said, oh, she surprised my sister. And she drove all the way from, I think, Georgia. She surprised my sister and she came. So the woman didn't know she was coming but she had her camera, and while she was there, she started taking pictures too, for free. Now, I'm the photographer that's getting paid. She comes and brings her camera and starts taking pictures because she know the girl, taking pictures for free. So what happened was, when I got ready to leave, they paid me, and then the woman wanted the money back from me. Look how crazy this is. She wanted the money back from me because her friend came and took the pictures for free and already had them loaded on Facebook the next day. So she already had all the pictures. So she was like, you know, I want my money back, which is crazy, team. So anyway, she told me, um, if I don't give her the money back, she gonna take me to court. I said, do what you gotta do. She told me, if I don't give the money back, she gonna tell my church that I was there taking pictures of women butts. I said, okay, well, then you have to show them proof of that then. She said, if I don't give the money back, she gonna contact my local paper and tell them I was taking pictures of women butt. I said, well, don't you have to show them proof of that? I mean, it's crazy. Now, team, I gave this woman all her pictures. I told her, do what you gotta do. She, t she showed enough, took me to court. And she wanted her money back. But she didn't realize that she was speaking, that she was, that she was helping my case. Because this is what happened now. You know, in photography, there's just like everything. There's different levels of stuff. There's different levels of cameras. The camera that I was using at that time, it was, it was not as good as the camera I use now. It was a decent camera for a beginner. But the other one, the woman that came and took free pictures, she had a better camera and better lens. Oh, so I had I had, a, I had a decent camera, a decent lens. Let me tell you something. Photography, what I said in another video, photography course. This might not be nothing you want to get into. Like, at that time, I was shooting with a lens. Now, this is the difference. I was shooting with a lens that cost probably $100. Now all the lenses I shoot with cost a thousand dollars. I say that not to show off, but when you look at my pictures, you see the quality of it. You can tell it's shot with professional lenses, professional equipment. So anyway, the woman had better equipment than me. She in the she in the courtroom arguing. She got our pictures side by side in an album book. Look at her pictures. Look at his. She didn't even realize, first of all, that she's telling the judge, I want my money back because my friend shot it for free and her pictures look better. But hold up, you paid me. I don't care if your friend comes along and her pictures are 100 times better than mine. You paid me for a service. You can't get your money back because somebody comes along and shoot it for free and their camera is better than mine. That's crazy. So she argued that case and she helped me. I got her twin sister on the stand, and I, and, I, and I don't remember everything I said there, but I remember one thing I said. I said, tell them why your sister want her money back. And she told them. 
when it was all over, first of all, she had to pay the court costs and she didn't get a dime from me. When it was all over, she stormed out of that courtroom. She stormed out of there. You know, so photography is good. I love it. But there's some downsides too. Let me tell you, like, there's another woman that tried to extort me. I shot a wedding, and I'm almost ashamed to tell you this. Some years ago, I shot a wedding for only $300. I shot a wedding for $300. I ain't print nothing. I ain't give no books or nothing like that. It was just pictures on a CD. And the woman told me uh, that I left out about six pictures with her family members. Now, remember now, I shot this wedding for $300. She told me there's six pictures with different family members that should have been in there that wasn't in there. If I don't give her the money, if I don't give her $1,300, I charge her three, 300. If I don't give her $1,300 by next week, Thursday, she taking me to court and sent me a notarized letter. I told her, do what you got to do. I ain't never heard from her again. But even most recently, team, let me tell you about this. Even most recently. Now, y'all remember the vlog that a couple of weeks ago where I said, the client showed up late, an hour late. Team, that client wound up cursing me out. Let me tell you why. When you contact me to do a photo shoot, this is exactly what I do. I send you an email letting you know how I operate, letting you know that I do take deposits and that the deposit is non-refundable. I let you know how long the shoot is, how many locations you can shoot at. I let you know that I don't print photos. I don't choose locations for clients. I don't do none of that. Even in my um, email, I let you know that there's a dress code for men and there's a dress code for women. Because I went to a photo shoot where a woman jumped out the car half naked and I had to tell my, tell my assistant, go tell her no. We ain't shooting you today. Because she's half naked. So I got a dress code and, and, and all of that. I got all this information in the email. That's why I tell people, when you want to shoot with me, I, you know, I get your email address, I send you the email. You look it over and you decide if you want to shoot with me. Because let me tell you, there's been some young girls that read the, looked at the email and decided they didn't want to shoot with me because they couldn't be half naked in the photo shoot. And I know that was the reason because I know some of these people. But anyway, she contacted me. Now, remember, I said I don't print. I don't print. I give you your photos on a CD, or you can get it from my website. I don't print. She asked me. I told she she called me. I missed her call. And um, I texted her. I probably like an hour later. I said, "You still getting your photos today? I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it to you today." She said, "What you gonna do? You bring you gonna bring them to Florence?" I said, "No, you gonna download them from my website." She said, "That's some bull." And then she said, started cursing. This is a text message. This is a rip off. This is a rip off. I said, how did I rip you off when I explained to you in the email, when I sent you the email that I don't print photos? I don't print photos. That's a rip off. I'm old school. I want my photos printed. I said, did you read the email that I sent you? She said, I didn't read that S. That's what she said. I didn't read that S. I said, well, you should have. How can I, how, how I ripped you off if you didn't read the email? Well, you didn't think the email was important? Come on, if somebody sent me an email, I'm about to do business with somebody. Not only do I want to know the price, but even more than that, I want to know what I'm entitled to as far as the photo shoot. Because you need to know what photo shoot you paying for. Is you paying for 60 minutes? Is you paying for, is you paying for an hour and 30 minutes? You need to know what you're paying for. You need to know what you're getting. Are you getting? Are you getting? Are you getting print? Are you getting a CD? You know what I'm saying? So if a, if a photographer, and I'm telling y'all this, if a photographer send you an email, read that entire email. And the email that I sent, I sent out y'all is not even long. It's not even long. She was just too lazy to read it. And I ain't saying that as no disrespect to her, but she she should have read it. You can't tell me I ripped you off. You ripped yourself off by not reading the email. This is a rip off. This is a rip off. All that money I gave you and the money she gave me, I mean, it was really for a daughter prom shoot. The money she gave me, people give me more than that for a regular photo shoot and they don't get print. And nobody tells me I'm ripping them off. You didn't give me a lot of money. But anyway, team.
I'm just babbling. I'm just babbling. Anyway, team, I'm not making the beat. I'm just playing around, pressing on that for y'all. But anyway, I'm going to go back in the kitchen and see what my wife doing. All right? Say what? Hopefully you, you guys like it. Okay. We'll see how many you got wrong on that paper. I didn't get to talk with you about it because you're doing your bathroom thing. Yeah, I, I, I saw me and Mark my one of them. I didn't get to show her because yeah, I saw you throw it in the front. I can go. All right, team, that was it. That's it. Oh, by the way, team, my wife told me to stop wearing this T-shirt. Because it may look to y'all like I wear it a lot. And there's a gray T-shirt that it may look to y'all like I wear that a lot, too. But I got a bunch of gray T-shirts, a bunch of red T-shirts. And I do need to switch it up, though. But be assured that if you see me with this T-shirt on, that every time I wear it, it's clean. Anyway, oh, we apologize, team. We didn't even show y'all the breakfast. We didn't show y'all the omelets. The omelets was the sausages, the the bacon, the turkey bacon. It was everything was delicious. Let me see that he ate turkey bacon. Team, I've been eating turkey bacon. My mother was making turkey never, bacon. My mother was making turkey bacon for me. I never told her that. That's the same turkey bacon. I never bacon told I made her that. You said you didn't like. I didn't. Maybe I didn't like it the time you made it. This time you never made no turkey bacon this crisp. No, you haven't. Not for me. I always, I always make it in the oven. But anyway, team, she didn't make it this crisp. I like. I like my bacon crisp. Whether 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 it's that bacon or another bacon. But anyway, team.
Anyway, team, you know, some some people just got to take the credit for everything, too. Everything in your life. But anyway, yeah, sorry again that we didn't show y'all the food. Babe, did you enjoy the breakfast? I loved it. I love it. I'm up here. I'm just... Did the kids love it? Yeah, everybody loved it. Yeah, everybody loved it. Oh, and some potatoes. We had some potatoes. Yeah. I'm fit physically, so I'm about to go pour out spiritually. Life ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I didn't want to. Talk, I didn't want to go on that road. But well, we was giving her you the floor. Yeah, I just um, about to go on Periscope. I won't go get on Periscope on our Facebook for this prayer thing. But God spoke to me and said, "Get on there." He spoke to me twice. Right. So I'm about to finish writing this chapter, and I'm gonna brush my hair down. Get on there and yeah, slap some gel on it like back in the day and just I'm gonna throw gel on, gel on it. When she go to sleep at night, I'm gonna throw gel on her head. And I'm gonna let y'all hear her snore again. She advanced in her level of snoring. I'm gonna let y'all hear that again. Y'all done heard the last time when she was going on. I got over here to the door and y'all still heard her good. But anyway. Team, we'll catch y'all next time and thank you for still rolling with us thank you and to the people that be giving the thumbs down we glad you show up too y'all team members too whether you like it or not y'all part of the team y'all cousins anyway we'll catch y'all on the next one deuces